Yo, yo, rest fab, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode, episode number three to be exact, of the Miami Marlins March to October. Now, the last episode, I believe we got to seven and four. I don't remember if we won the such the moment. I'm pretty sure we did win win the moment. But now we're sitting at a comfortable seven and four. We are currently tied for second. We'll tie for first with the Mets. And uh, the Phillies are four and seven. Braves six and six, and the Nats are six and five. So this division is clearly wide open. Clearly, uh, things are looking good for us. Trevor Richard actually leads the league in strikeouts. And then, oh, well, this is a highlighted stat, the OPS for our team. But it's time for us to get into the next moment, folks. We got a mountain rally in the ninth, in the ninth inning to actually steal a win from the Cincinnati Reds. Can we actually do that? Let's find out. We actually have Brian Anderson at bat as well. So this should be kind of easier, but it is against Rice Sully Glacers, and he's actually a stud in this game. So, yeah, B. Anderson up 306 for the season. Time for us to be clutch, man. Let's smart a little something going. Come on. Oh, that's Oppo. Oppo Taco, baby. Can we actually take two? We're not going to take two on that. We actually go Oppo. Late Oppo. That's the name of the game this year. And Brad Anderson gets on base with the potential game time run at first. Game winning run at the plate. Let's go, man. I need you to drive one in the gap. Brad Anderson will score from the gap. There we go. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Let's go. That's going to take him over to second. We're going to take B. Anderson to third. Oh, that's a late jump. He took a bad turn. He took a bad turn. No, Anderson. <laughs> no. Come on, man. We got to gain something, man. We got to gain some momentum here. Come on. Shit. Come on. Find a pitch you want. Oh, that's the pitch I wanted. And then we strike. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see. Oh, no. That's going to be the game. That's going to be the game, folks. We don't end up winning this moment. We end up losing this moment. And we actually could have gotten a comeback. We actually could have gotten a comeback. If Anderson would have turned. Oh, my God. Man. Failed the moment. Failed the moment. Any momentum we had that was hot. I guess it's kind of low now. But we got a loss there. A win. A win. Okay, so we've got two wins and then three. Well, three wins and two L's. And Brian Anderson performed well for season long boost. So we're actually going to be player locked to Brian Anderson, who's been hitting pretty well. And we're actually we're actually still in second place. We're a game behind it from the Mets in second place. But we got to perform well with Brian Anderson. We're going to be player locked to him, batting 323 for the season, three home runs, and nine RBIs. Can we actually do good with Brian Anderson well, as player locked to Brian Anderson? Let's find out. All right, here we go. The best player in baseball, Brian Anderson, hitting a comfortable 323 coming up to play. This man is an absolute goon. And we're going to, I'm going to show you guys why he's a goon. Oh, God, I hate, oh, never mind. There's no shadow. I, I really hate playing in Marlins Park when there's a shadow. It really, it really is annoying. All right, that should have been a strike, but we're actually going to take that pitch. That's fine. Come on, Anderson. We got to perform well. At least get a hit. At least go one for three. Oh, wow. That's a pitch we wanted right there. Drop the PCI when we didn't need to. Drop the PCI. I was kind of late on it. Actually, very late on it. So, yeah. Uh, I literally just woke up and I'm playing this game. So, if I miss pitches that I should not be missing, I'm sorry. I'm still kind of tired. But, uh, let's see, man. Two for two. Well, two, two count, I should say. Can we get something to drive? And we do. I keep missing these fastballs down the middle. Let's go. And it works a walk. Beautiful. We work a walk with Brian Anderson. That's what I like to see. All right. We're right back at it, folks. We're losing 4-1 at the moment. But Brian Anderson does work a walk in his first AB. So nothing hurts him there. But, ah, man. What's going on with me? I literally cannot get a hit to save my life. I honestly can't get a hit right now. It's actually pretty annoying. There you go. That's going to be a pop-up. Can that fall? That is actually not going to fall with 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 Bryce Harper in right field. All right. Slatter out. Not a problem there. We got to at least record a hit here, Addison. Come on. 
We gotta at least get something started for, for the squad. Beautiful. We're not swinging at no slider outside, bro. Why the hell would we swing at a slider outside? Never that. Come on. Come on, Anderson. Ah, it's good contact over to the shortstop. But that's gonna be routine for the. Oh man, it's gonna be hard. All right, 0 for 2 with the walk and a run, so we're not doing too bad. But we are losing the game 7 to 3 now. It's not what you want to see, honestly. But hey, these things happen, right? And he pops up. Come on, Anderson. I need a base hit at least. We need some momentum here. Come on. All right, that cutter cutting outside. No, thank you. I'm not swinging at that. But this shadow is kind of pissing me off now. There is kind of a shadow going on here. And it's kind of annoying. All right, that cutter is a strike. Which kind of is a strike, but whatever. Come on. Come on, I want to pitch right here. That's that's where I, that's where I was aiming at. Come here. And that's going to be a pop. God, yo, I can't hit. All right, so no offensive production at all. Lost game, small momentum loss. And basically, we're fucked. That's what the game's telling me. We're fucked. And there we go. Our momentum is officially lost. We now have a cold bar momentum, and we're going to lose basically every game that we play now. We're going to lose every game that we play now, folks. So we got a pin and loss on the division rival. We're fishing now 11 and 8. And I feel like we're going to leave it off here. We're not going to play too much of it. This is, this is the top of the seventh game. It's going to take a while for us to finish. Yeah, it's going to take a while for us to finish. So we're actually going to leave it off here, folks. But we are 11 and 8. We're good for second in the league behind the Mets. And I'm pretty sure we... I, I don't know if we're tied for the wild card. Yeah, we're tied with the wild card with the Reds. So that's pretty interesting enough. But yeah, man. It's time for us. I, I, I really don't know what the hell just happened there. I could not hit a ball to save my life. I, 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 I don't know what's happening, but I cannot hit a ball to save my life. But, folks, that is going to be episode number three done for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like down below. But it's been your boy, Rezzy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Peace. When I pull up.